it's time to play... <laughs> sure, Wheel of Fortune, close enough. So, Vanna, you ready to turn those letters? You're the greatest, Pat. <laughs> no, you are. Contestant one, Bill, when we left off, you were about to solve the puzzle. First line of a popular nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty sat... Oh, oh, uh, um, can I buy a vowel? Oh, it's too bad. We are fresh out, and I don't feel like it. Aww. Contestant two, Tex, do you want to solve or spin? I want to spin, spin, spin. Look at me! Spin, baby, spin! Well, this could take a while, so let's move on. How about it, Rhonda? Can you solve this stumper? Of course. Humpty! Sorry, Rhonda. You have to spin first. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Rusty Sprocket. You ever find yourself just not having enough manpower or machinery to move heavy metal objects around? Well, today we're going to be building a low-profile dolly to help us do just that. We're going to be moving these heavy metal beams around to uh, put them in position to weld. And then we're going to have to move them back outside to paint. So hang out and watch us as we get it started. Okay, let the fun begin. Well, we've taken a piece of scrap steel just the right size. We're going to torch a piece off to build our base plate from. As we hold the torch, you'll notice I pull it towards me. That way you have better control over the flame. And it makes a nice straight cut. Now for a little grindy grindy to clean up some of the torched edges, make it nice and smooth. And don't forget to round off the sharp corners. Man, those things can be a gotcha when you stub your toe on it or something like that. Now we're going to fit the wheels up on the axle that we have. It's a 24 inch long axle and we're going to measure the inside so that we can cut the angle iron for the stiffener. You'll see the angle iron laying there in front of me. That's going to be what's going to give us the strength. The axle is a 5 8 rod and it by itself is not going to be very strong. But once we attach it to that angle iron, it's going to be pretty strong. Having a nice metal chop off saw in the shop is sure handy. Cut that piece of angle iron and make short work out of it. Can you imagine using a hacksaw for that? <laughs> oh, man, that makes me tired. Okay, now we're going to grind the edges off, make them nice and smooth, and kind of friendly them up. Remember to take off those sharp edges. Okay, now let's attach the shaft to the angle iron. You know, it'd be a real good idea to put on a long sleeve shirt about now. Those welder burns can kind of hurt. Oh well, I'll do it later. Don't you wish you could weld that fast? And now it's time to attach the quarter inch thick plate to the angle iron. The plate spreads the weight out a little more evenly and gives you a little bit more control and stability. All right, uh, I wonder where I put my gloves. I like wearing thin gloves to, uh, oops, I got a hole in me finger. I like wearing thin gloves to move things around. Just makes it a little bit better. Okay, let's assemble this little sucker. Put the wheels on. All right. Put the cotter pin at the end of the shaft to hold the wheels on. Wouldn't be nice if they fell off, you know. All right, let's set it in the floor and see how it works. 
Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, right about now I feel the temptation coming. <laughs> Come on, man, really? Hey, George, remember the last time you tried to ride skates? <laughs> that didn't end well, did it? Now you get to watch the dolly in action. I think that piece of steel must weigh 250 to 300 pounds. And we move it around just effortlessly. That dolly sure is handy. Here we go, in the shop, into position. This piece of steel is 144 inches long and six inches square. Now we're going to weld the end caps on it. Maybe in another episode, I'll show you what the finished product is gonna look like. Now we're going to use a hydraulic lift table to pick this steel up and put it in a position to take it out. A hydraulic lift table is real handy to have in the shop. It is a back saver. Okay, out the shop it goes. Two more to go. Job well done. This is one of my favorite tools of all time right here. Oh yeah. It's break time, buddy. Ah, yeah. Time to take a nap. <laughs> well, time to go back to work. Okie doke. Friends, thanks a lot for spending some time with me. I really enjoyed making the Rusty Sprocket Show for you. I hope you had a good time, maybe learned a thing or two, and do me a favor. Be happy what you're doing, and go out there and make a smile, will you?